system we use is described as alpha numeric. That is to say, it combines letters of the alphabet and numbers. And the system is a letter followed by six digits and it may end or may not end with another letter. This system makes it very easy. So if we see if we see a code which comprises say four If we see a code which comprises the four digits, we know immediately that it is not a correct code. As I said, it's a letter followed by six digits. A letter. A letter. <laughs> um, as I said, it's a letter followed by six digits and may or may not end in, a, uh, in another letter. The, the letter that begins the code tells you the region in which the polling station is situated. It has been explained here, but I may repeat. When you see a polling station number, starting with A, you know that that polling station is in the western region. If it starts with a B, you know that it's in the central region. If it starts with a C, you know that it is in greater Accra region. If it starts with a D, you know that it is in the Volta region. If it starts with E, you know that it is in the Eastern region. If it starts with F, it is in the Ashanti region. It is starts with a G, it is in the Bonghavu region. If it starts with F, um, H. Hmm? H. H. Okay, it starts with H. Okay. It starts with H. It is in the. Yeah, did I mention F? Yes, yes F. It's in the Ashanti region. If it starts with a G, it's in brown half region. You're going, you know, sequentially. If it starts with an H, it is in the northern region. Then we skip the letter I. Because, you know, sometimes it may look like one. And sometimes it may look like a J. So we skip the letter I and move on to J. If you see a number beginning with J, you know that it's in the Upper East region. And if you see, finally, if you see a number beginning with K, you know that it's in the Upper West region. So the first letter will tell you the region in which the polling station is located. 